I'm Hamish. You know, it's a lot of people who are new here in this channel, you know, in this program, okay? So if you face time right here in these intellectual things, intellectual property, come right here, right here, see here? Subscribe and leave a comment. I'm gonna be more than happy to help you. Another thing is again again, I wanna say thanks so much for all the people who donate take to me who donated. It means a lot. It's a lot of money you guys are saying to me. It means a lot because you know, you know, I got a lot of projects that we're doing, feeding the uh, the people, homeless people, motivates all, taking all these kids from the street and bring their dream to reality. So thanks a lot for all your donation means a lot. You know, dollar, you know, you can donate as little as one dollar, hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, one thousand dollars. Sometimes I get shocked. I'm like, huh? Really? They donate me all this money, man? Thanks a lot, man. Let's get started. So now this is a uh, three capacitor with a capacitance of that one. Oh, so this capacitor with capacitance, different capacitors for the C1 is for so C1, C1. Okay, so this is capacitance one, which is for four microcoulomb, four micro Faraday. Excuse me, excuse me, micro Faraday. C23, C23. So this is C2 equal to three micro farad and c3 equal to 2 so this equal to 2 micro farad are connected to 12 voltage so all these things are connected to 12 voltage 12 voltage we'll do the one find the charging capacitor c2 find the charging capacitor c2 so you know what i'm gonna do let me break this down so first and foremost i see here these two capacitors are parallel to each other. Can you see? They're like parallel to each other, like parallel to each other. So now, whenever capacitors are parallel, you add them to get. Okay, so these, I can just redraw this as okay. So let's say this point A, and this point A, we have it. This is C1, but a C1, this and this is like you can draw like this if you want. So this is B. Like if I had to stretch it like that, so this is B like. Shoo. Okay, so this is C three and this is C C two. So what happened? These two are parallel. So when they're parallel, what you do? You add them. So I'm gonna say C two is parallel to C three, and what that means? I can get the total capacitance. What is the total capacitance? Add these two three microfarad plus plus two microfarad. This will give us what? Five microfarad. Also, these two here give us five microfarad. So if I don't want to write like this, I can just erase this. Oh, you can leave like this with me, let's say. So this diagram is going to give something like this. So this is A, let's say, okay. This is C1, but this is the part of the two. So let's call this and this. This will see well, C, C2 and C3, right? C3 and C2. So let's call this, let's say, C star. Or you can call it a number. So this is star equal to 5. Micro Farad means they together they give us this five micro Farad. This is B. Okay, let's also find the uh, capacitance equivalence, the total capacitance. So capacitance equivalence. So when they parallel, when they series because they're next to each other, this is because they're parallel. But here, these are in series. So you see, capacitance this is in series. With capacitance, which capacitance is this? So this capacitance one, oh, this capacitance one is in series with the capacitance star. So capacitance one, because this is one and this series, with this. capacitance one is in series with capacitance star. So when they series, this is how you do. For series, capacitance, 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 to so one over capacitance equivalence. Because they're series to each other. So we want to get capacity total. Total equivalence, the same meaning. So equal to 1 over the phase capacitance, which is capacitance 1, which is this, of this. And then you add 1 of the second capacitance, which is capacitance star. Because they are series to each other. When they're series, this is how you calculate. Even if, let's say, you have one more, I was going to add 1 over that other more. But for now, we have a 2. So it's so 1 over capacitance total. Total equivalence, the same thing. So we got total here. Equal to 1 over capacitance 1. Capacitance 1 equal to 4. Microfarad. Farad. And then 1 over. What do you get here? 5. For this to give us 5. 5 micro. Farad. Okay, so now let's calculate that one. 
Okay, five times one is five. This is gonna be so it's gonna be nine over twenty. Nine over twenty micro five. So what we have here now, you can say uh, one over capacity equivalent equal to one nine over twenty, and they say what micro five. So if you want to get this, like when you have one group, you can flip here. It's acceptable. Flip everything. So when you flip everything, you have a capacity equivalent over one flip equal to 20 over 9 what micro farad if you want to change to farad you can say 20 over 9 times 10 power negative 6 or farad you know if you want to change to farad but you can put in this one 20 over 9 oh where's my calculator now come on baby and then we're going to get uh, 2.22 okay so this capacity equivalence or capacity total you can say total capacity equivalence equal to 2.22 2.22 times 10 power negative 6 or 5 so this is a capacitor total of everything so now let me look if I know the all capacitor total we have a little formula here we can do okay before we go for whatever we want me I like to break down everything now we have a little formula say always C the quantity of charger equal to CV equal to capacitance times V. So we have a, a capacitive total, total of everything. And you have a voltage total because they say here, they give us voltage total. What's the voltage total? It's 12. So I can put the voltage total here and capacitive total and I can get the quantity all passing from A to B, the total quantity. Okay, I can say quantity total equal to, what is CT total? 2.22, I can say 20 over nine times voltage total equal to 12, baby. So, multiply this thing by 12. 8 over 3. So, it's going to give us 8 over 3. But remember, multiply. If you want to change, okay, remember, this is in um, micro. Okay, so if you want to change to uh, normal Faraday, you just multiply by 10 power, negative 6. So, quantity total, or you can say quantity, quantity equivalence, quantity total equal to 80 over three times if you want to leave it eight over three means this could be what micro coulomb because it's charged if you want to change this you can say eight over three times ten power negative negative six what just a coulomb and you can put that in decimal eight over three eight over three sd say uh, 26.67 so quantity total 26.66 or six seven breath in one decimal plus ten power negative six or coulomb. So we have a total charger which is gonna pass from here A to B. So what do they want these people? Now let me let me show you all the charger everywhere, like everything, so you know you're done with it and you get understand this question in and out. Look here man. When uh when is okay, you see this stuff here? If this charger move here, okay. We say we open this uh, this diagram so you look like this now. If this charger, okay, what is our total voltage? Our total voltage equal to 12 means from here all the way to an end equal to 12 volt voltage. You understand that? 12 voltage. Okay. And another thing, CNC1. Okay, look. This is our total charger. It's like quantity of charge. It means it comes with electricity. Okay, look. It comes here together all the way this charger, which is what? 86.67 it's gonna come all the one coming will happen this charge is gonna separate some is gonna go up some is gonna go down if it's 26 let's say let's say one is 10 i'm just assuming let's say 10 because there's no guarantee it's gonna be the same charge it's all depend on the capacitance the capacitor so the charge is gonna vary depending on these capacitors so 26 let's say on top is gonna pass 10 and here's gonna pass what uh 16. so they all gonna pass 10 and 16 and they're going to join together. It's going to give us 26 again. Oh, okay. So total charger is going to pass through C1. But for C3 and C2, it's not going to be total charger because that charger is going to split in two parts. But here it's going to come and say together. Oh, so quantity of charger 1 equal to quantity total. I hope it makes sense. So we're going to say quantity of 1 equal to quantity total which is this one, 26.67 times 10 power, negative 6 coulomb. Okay, but also, 
I have the C1. What is my C1? My C1 equal to 4 micro coulomb. Equal to 4 micro coulomb. Microfarad, my apologies. I was going to say microfarad. So for that case now, I'm going to say now, we know for facts, uh, quantity of charger equal to CV. Okay? So, quantity of charger 1 we have. C1 we have, so we can get V1 here. You know what I'm saying? We can get V1. Let's go slow, slow. Don't rush. We go slow, slow. Do you going to get C2? Okay, so let's get V1. Okay? So if we make V1 subject, means I'm going to divide by C1, divide by C1, divide by C1, divide by C1. So now my V1 equal to quantity 1 over C1. What is my quantity 1? My quantity 1 equal to quantity total, which equals 26.67 times 10 power negative 6 over. C1, what is a C1? 4, but uh, this is microfarad. So if since this is micro coulomb, if since this is coulomb, so also this must be, excuse me. If since this is coulomb, because I'm at pi, change from micro coulomb to coulomb, so I have to change this also to coulomb. But if I leave this as a micro, as, uh, as without this, also this one, I can take without times 10 power negative 6, I believe you understand. So say 4 times 10 power negative 6 also, because this also is converted. So what we're going to do, we take 26.67 because, you know, this and this cancel 26.67 divided by 4. So, divided by 4. And this one give you 6.67. 6.67. Oh, so the potential difference 1 equal to 6.67 what? Voltage. Oh. So here, we have, what is this? 6.67. Okay. So this is 6.67 from here to here 6.67 6.67 what volt so and then so then we say look so then we say if our total okay i'm going to explain you something very 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 important look if okay if something like this okay from here to here all the way we say is what is 12. so this part here is six so what happened with these two here we're going to take the whole 12 minus 6.67 okay so now we're going to say uh, I think I can just erase this because it's clear so I'm going to say now for voltage okay for voltage 2 here 2 and 3 for voltage 2 and 3 let me say in 3 and voltage 3 together how are we going to get them we must take the whole total voltage minus voltage of here voltage one so what is the total voltage uh 12 volt minus 6.67 so 12 minus this answer so 12 minus another answer 16.3 16 over 3 so this is going to give us 16 over 3 volt or oh, when it's putting sd it's going to be 5.33 5.33 voltage. Oh, so the voltage which is going to be dealing here. 5.33, 5.33 voltage. You know what I'm saying? So if you get 35.33 voltage, now how, how this is going to work? Look, when you have a parallel things, capacitors, even electricity is the same thing. Here. When they're parallel, both they use the same volt. If this has, let's say, 2 volt, even this is going to have a 2 volt. Only when they parallel. You know what I'm saying? So, this is going to use 5.33 volt. Even this also is going to be, this, I mean, this capacitor is going to be what? 5.33 volt. Okay? So, if we're going to say now, C3, capacitor 3, what is capacitor 3? 5.33 volt. And here, capacitor 2 equal to 5.33 volt. But also, we had, uh, uh, no, this voltage, excuse me. I was going to say uh, voltage, voltage 3. So now we have, so for that case, now we have, voltage at 3, let me say voltage 3, because we say capacitor is not going to make sense. Voltage at 3. And this is going to be voltage at 2. So voltage at 3 is going to be 5.33 volt. And voltage at 2 equal to also 5.33 volt. This must be volt. My apologies. 
But we have capacities of two. What is capacities of two? Capacities of two we had already. What is the capacities of two? Uh, we had it already from the beginning. Three, so it's going to be three micro, micro farad, in the capacities of uh, three. We had two, two point zero micro farad. Now, what do they want these people? They say uh, find the charge of capacity C2. Or we can get charge of capacity C2 because we have this data. And I know for effects, so I'm going to say charger uh, Q2 in other way. That's what they're looking for. Q2 charger at capacitor, capacitor, capacitor C2. I'm going to get, I know quantity equal to CV. But this quantity 2, and this must be V2 and V2. So now I want to get Q2 is easy because I have a C2 and I have a V2. So we can plug that out. So this is going to be 1 to 2 equal to C2. What is a C2? Our C2 we have. So I'm going to say 3 micro five times V2, 5.33, 5.33 volt. Okay, so I'll rather change this. So it's going to be 3 times 10 power negative 6 times 5.33 volt. Or if you don't want to change, your answer is going to be in micro column. Okay? So I'm going to say Q2 equal. Okay, check my calculator now. I'm going to say uh, 3 times 10 uh, negative 6 times 5.33. Okay, 1.5. 5, 1.60, okay, so we get this one, 5, 1 point, 1 point, 1 1.599 times 10, power negative 5, what, uh, Coulomb, you know what I'm saying, Coulomb, because you change these two, to uh, normal file, but if you wanna, if you wanna write like that, I could have leave this. I say Q two equal take three times five times three three. and they give us fifteen point nine nine. So this is gonna be fifteen point nine nine, but it's gonna be micro coulomb because the charge. So this or this, yes. Another question: Find the charge of the positive C two. We got a charge of capacitor C2, this one or that. It's all depending. So I can say this is like 16. If you approximate, like 16. If you want to approximate. 16 what? Micro Coulomb. And whatever you want to do is option. Thanks a lot of me for your time. I believe you learned something. You learned how to do things. You learned from my methodology. And you know, I hope to see you very soon. Leave a comment here, man. Leave a comment on the station. I'll be more than happy, you know, to respond to your comments. Peace in a mouth. Peace. Bye bye.